Welcome to the final game from the round two of the losers bracket. We have here in the bottom left corner of the map we were capes IRL with Olxor on Grath, Slayer's Boxer on Ares, and Savior on Hydros. Facing against free agents number two up in the top right side of the map, we have Bad Wolf on Vela, Sidis on Rhyme, and French Toast on Ares. Let's go and take a look at their unit composition. Uh, we have Boxer going for a Patchbot Sentinel. Uh, we have Savior going for the Warp Drone and Orcsor getting another Engineer as well. So only one Engineer is going to be present for uh, Weaver Capes IRL. We see a Patchbot from Sidis. Uh, we see Cinder Beetles and Lancers from uh, French Toast and an Engineer uh, from, um, from uh, Bad Wolf as well on Vela. So let's just hop into this game and uh, it is the loser's bracket. The team that is going to lose will be eliminated from the tournament and the team that's going to win is going to go to round 3 of the loser's bracket. Uh, Savior is uh, uh, going to go down here with uh, Boxer uh, taking care of this camp. Uh, Boxer is going to get an early patch bot, Orcsor taking care of this camp, Sidis up here uh, with Bad Wolf going for uh, those creeps while French Toast is actually going to get an early Cinder Beetle. And as we can see here, uh, he is going to go for uh, those creeps. He almost takes them down. Uh, Boxer is a little bit late to try and deny anything. Uh, so all teams have taken their uh, creeps. Let's see what's going to happen right here. It looks like Bad Wolf might snipe it and he does indeed snipe that creep. Uh, nicely done by him. And the game is pretty much stable at this point. Savior and Boxer are down here. Uh, they have dominion over uh, the, the bottom right corner of the map. Um, Orcsor, I believe, is going to go for this camp since uh, Sidis Oz is already there and it is going to be hard to try and push him away. Uh, Savior and Boxer might want to go for this tower, but I don't think that is going to be a wise decision from them. Uh, we see Bad Wolf here and French Toast already. Uh, Ready, ready to defend there. French Toast is getting tech level 2 and he will have 3 Cinder Beetles in total. Uh, Sid is going for tech level 2 as well and Bad Wolf is going to stay on Raptors for a while. Savior tech level 2, uh, Boxer only Sand Stingers and uh, one Patch Bot at this point interesting from him while Orcsor is building his uh, first Bramble Thorn. It is good, still, we are still far away from the first titan, one minute left uh, until the first titan is uh, going to spawn. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, those teams are going to try and uh, pick each other off uh, in here. We see Boxer and Savior are trying to pin down Bad Wolf, but he does have superior range. Uh, he has to take down this ward first um, in order to try and get some shots off. French Toast is still down here and uh, he was able to farm those critters a little bit. Uh, going to income, uh, we see that critters are pretty much even. A uh, one critter advantage for uh, our blue team. Uh, let's see what's going on down here. Sidis so actually catches those uh, Terrapin troopers. They might be able to escape and they do. Uh, so nicely done from Orcsor there. He was splitting up his uh, Terrapins to try and farm a little bit more and um, we are going to be ready for uh, the first titan right now. A uh, boxer is here, but Sidis actually, uh, he might be able to take down Boxer's army in a full uh, uh, flat out engagement. Titans are here and Savior is trying to engage, uh, not really successful, he cannot do it all by himself and those Cinderlings are doing a good job at uh, just keeping them away but this Bramblethorn against those Cinder Beetles, he is definitely going to win, already takes two of them down. Uh, let's see if he can uh, get a little bit more, he tries to pin down Sidis and uh, Savior actually manages to do so. Uh, careful with those tower shots, we have one Lancer as well, so the Lancer is going to be uh, extremely effective against the sand stingers as we can see boxer only has two sand stingers left from that engagement uh, because of that lancer and we have another one coming down it is going to be key whether french toast can siege up this location um, so that uh, the blue team is not able to engage uh, we see uh, that savior is uh, going to try and get around it 
but decides to back away. This Brambleton is extremely durable and might pick off that Cinder Beetle instead of going for French Toast. He has to be careful with it and it does go down. Uh, so that was a little bit of a mistake from Orxor there. He could have kept that Brambleton alive. Not really achieving anything with it. Savior now traps a Zephyr, but he uses his, its ability to push him away. Unfortunately, it does end up going down. Titan's health is fairly close right now, uh, but those Lancers are decisive there. Uh, let's see if that Bramblethorn is going to be able to do something. Immediately just takes down that Cinder Beetle. And Olxor might actually go down himself, down he goes. Uh, that Bramblethorn really has to do something right now. Uh, they have trapped this Lancer down here. And this one is rooted, they really have to go for it instead of Sidious' hero. This Lancer is more important at this point. And down they go, both of them. So nicely done by the blue team there. Looks like this Titan fight is going to go their way. Savior is... Uh, has one Aquadillo on the way, uh, Boxer not really producing anything at this point, uh, while Orxor is uh, getting two more Bramble Thorns. Let's hop into the red side camp and see Bad Wolf, he's going for tech level 3. The, it is going to be a split push as we have seen a lot in this tournament. The Titan is going to be attacking those uh, those towers here uh, while Boxer and Savior are going to go for the right ones. Now let's see if they want to go for the tower or the Warp Spire uh, instead. It looks like it is going to be the Warp Spire. And uh, they might not have enough damage to take it down. However, with uh, with that Bramblethorn and the Aquadillo, I believe it is going to be enough. Let's see now. French Toast and Sidis are coming down uh, to try and defend this attack. The Warp Spire has been destroyed, and they have to bolt out of here. Even though that their even though their army is uh, a lot better than uh, French Toast and Sidis, uh, this tower firing is not helping them at all. Now let's take a look at armies right here. We do have... Uh, Savior actually went down there. Uh, we do have a little bit of uh, an advantage for our blue team. Uh, but the income uh, is actually telling a different story. 500 bio shards ahead for the blue team. So that is quite a lead at this point of the game. Two Bramblethorns are coming up here trying to uh, take care of that uh, medium camp. It would be a good idea for them to split uh, like I see. They are not quite decided what they want to do. Uh, but in here we actually see French Toast. There is one Aquadillo uh, that is going to be able to secure their retreat in case of an ambush here. So both teams uh, right now have uh, taken down one medium camp. And I believe they are going to want to go and take the ones uh, in their bases as well. Sidis is actually going down here to the critters and it looks like Bad Wolf is going to be joining him as well. Uh, Boxer actually uh, wants to steal this camp. Uh, it is a pretty nice move. Those medium camps are not going anywhere. And we actually see an iron cannon being constructed uh, down in the bottom uh, right side of the map. A uh, Slayer's Boxer is able to uh, effectively steal that camp, uh, while Sidis and Bat Wolf are clearing out those critters. So they are trying a little bit uh, to get back uh, into into the resources game. Uh, they have not taken down these medium camps, so with that I believe they are going to at least try and close the gap. Uh, this Iron Cannon is doing quite a little bit of work on this tower and Sidis and Bad Wolf are just hanging around here. Uh, they want to defend this Iron Cannon. Sidis is now moving in. There's not much for Savior in here uh, to defend with. Uh, that tower goes down and they're going to start working on the other one as well. We see French Toast with only two Lancers uh, up there uh, trying to defeat this uh, medium camp and down it goes. Uh, but uh, the um, the bio shot count is pretty much the same, if not, is actually getting worse uh, for the red team at this point. Uh, we see Boxer trying to go around. Uh, the iron cannon finally expired, not being able to take down that tower quite yet. And uh, let's see what Sidis is going to be building. He is uh, going for upgrades. Um, French toast is uh, actually, he does have a healthy army of Lancers, five of them right now, and he might be able to do something with them. We also see that he has Devilkin Dervishes coming up, but Bad Wolf is trapped down here. I am not sure how he is going to escape this just yet, and uh, it looks like he is going to be taken down. Down he goes, 
and I'm afraid that his whole army is going to get killed as well. Uh, he is trying to escape with this Windray. This Windray is definitely the most important unit, but it gets targeted by those towers, and it might actually just go down, and that... Uh, that Aquadillo basically seals the game right there uh, and uh, takes down the Windray. The Conduit is going to be taken down as well and Bad Wolf's entire army is now gone. Uh, just checking for the army right here, as you can see, uh, basically double the advantage on Bioshards for our blue team. They are preparing for this Titan and they are right on time. The Titans have just spawned and they have this middle secured. Uh, it is going to be hard for French Toast to be able to get his Lancers, um, his Lancers down in time. Even though those Lancers are DPSing the Titan, uh, I'm afraid that uh, the blue team has more DPS. Box are not actually be paying attention right there, but those Apocalyte shots do make out for it. He lost one Apocalyte, uh, basically for nothing right there, uh, but instead is going to wipe out Sidis. Another huge win for the blue team. Um, more Aquadillos are going to charge in. Two Lancers go down. Uh, Bad Wolf not really having anything right now. He's trying to remax on Raptors. Has one Conduit on the way. Uh, but this Titan, I believe, is definitely going to go in favor of our blue team. Boxer is now rebuilding the Apocalypse that he lost. Oxer is uh, going to get one Abominable Sludge, while Savior is uh, getting his uh, Ice Frogs. Uh, let's see those Lancers up here. They are vulnerable. Uh, but with the help of those the Devilkin Dervishes, they are going to be able to escape. And we can actually see that Savior got a kill right there. Um, we see that Conduit is still up and running, but that is pretty much left of uh, Bad Wolf's army. Just one Conduit and four Raptors at this point. This Iron Cannon is being taken down. That was, a not, uh, that was not a good position for an Iron Cannon at this point of the game. Uh, we see the Titan has been lost by the red team and they are actually going to push with the Titan instead of splitting up down here. Uh, the Aquadillos are now engaging and we see some Apocalypse shots. Uh, they are just brutally just devastating the red team's army. We see this Ice Frog is still lying around. It would be a nice pickup if they can kill it and down it goes. And not much is left in terms of army right here for our red team. And this is l looking decisively uh, for our blue team at this point. We were Capes IRL is now going to go for this healing generator. Curiously, instead of the warp spire, uh, there it goes. Um, we see a nice ice frog ability down there, being able to freeze everything, and those apocalypse shots just seal it out. Sidis might just go down, down there, down he goes, and there is just this warp spire left. Uh, as we can see here, I don't believe that the blue team has enough army. Careful with that, Aquadillo is actually going to be taken down by the Archive. Uh, so, Savior could have actually saved that Aquadillo, but I believe that he is rich enough uh, to be able to just reproduce those. At this point, the, another Brumblethorn goes down. Nice pickup from uh, Bad Wolf. So, I believe that the blue team is just going to retreat, just going to remax and starve out uh, their opponents. Now uh, we see hard camps have spawned uh, uh, 30 seconds ago. We see another iron cannon going down uh, here. A uh, bad wolf is going to try and, s uh, and kill this iron cannon. Uh, it is going to take a little bit of time, but he might be able to do it while the blue team is busy with uh, with that hard camp. Citizen French Toast in the meantime, I think they are going to go down here. Uh, that is a pretty ballsy move at this point of the game. They don't have much with them and can be easily ambushed. Every single unit that they lose at this point is uh, crucial. And they have arrived down here. Uh, French Toast will want to tank with his hero or Sidis. Uh, they cannot allow their, um, their units to tank for them, but it looks like they're not even going to engage uh, the hard camp. The Iron Cannon was taken down by Bad Wolf before it could uh, finish off this tower. So Slayer's Boxer can actually pop in here and quickly finish off this tower. Orkser is now getting uh, one more Brambathon as well as uh, the Ooze upgrade. Uh, Savior is uh, going to replenish his uh, final Aquadillo. Um, let's check for Sidis and French Toast. They might actually be trapped there. Nice Ice Frogs going down. Aquadillo's coming on top. There are no Apocalypse down here uh, since uh, Boxer is on the other side of the map. But nonetheless, they are going to be wiped out. 
Uh, French Toast has to get out of there. Another Lancer goes down. This tower is going to go down as well. And this is just a brutal uh, for our uh, red team right now. This tower went down and I believe they are going to go for this hard camp. So Savior and uh, Orcsor are going to go indeed for this hard camp. While Boxer uh, is uh, planting one more iron cannon. Uh, is in range of this tower. It would have been best if he would just go in and kill it. But let's see if he can actually uh, surround Bad Wolf. Uh, I don't know. There we go. He has to see Bad Wolf is in there. Uh, but he might not be able to engage all by himself. And let's see some Apocalypse shots. Maybe not. He instead chooses to get out of there. He could pump some. Uh, and one Apocalypse actually goes down. He could have made one preemptive shot uh, to deny uh, Bad Wolf any more advance. So as we can see, Boxer is now getting two, pa three patch bots. Very interesting uh, choice from him. Only ability power level 1, so um, those destructive prophecies are not as tough as they could be. Self-fulfilling prophecies uh, going uh, as well. French Toast and Sidis are up here. Medium camps have respawned and they have immediately taken care of this one. While Bad Wolf uh, appears to do the same, so nice pick off uh, from the red team at this point. They badly need those resources. Um, in the meantime, the blue team is just now finishing up this hard camp that they have inside their base. Titans have now spawned and if our red team is not able to pick off this titan then I don't know how they are going to be able to come back into this game. Uh, French Toast is a little bit late to the party with uh, those lances but they actually managed to get some nice shots um, on that Devilkin. It is only Bad Wolf up in here, but those heat waves are going to push French Toast out of position, uh, as well as Sidis from there. And that that heat wave is actually doing quite a little bit. There is just a lot of blue in the middle of the map. These two oozes, yeah, there we go. With that ooze, it is uh, they. It should just go in here. It has so much health. It does have the upgrade. They will not be able to take down that ooze. Sidis looks like he wants to go for a tower uh, in the meantime. Only Bad Wolf in the middle tries to defend this. But I don't think that he has enough at this point. We also see one Baton Horn in here. Let's see if uh, he wants to charge with it. And there it goes. The charge actually misses uh, Sidis and he might be able to just back away from there. Savior and Boxer are still duking it out in the middle with French Toast and uh, Bad Wolf. Uh, so Savior just has to engage with those Aquadillos, there we go. Uh, those were some early Apocalypse shots, they could have been timed a little bit better. But nonetheless, it gets the job done and the blue team now has uh, this Titan in their pocket. And they are going to go for the kill right now. Uh, there's only one Archive Tower left. And uh, as we can see in here, the army difference is just brutal at this point. They have five times more army than their opponents. And I don't know how our uh, red team is going to be able to come back from this. We can see more nice Aquadillos engage. Uh, we see uh, some heat waves coming down, denying Bad Wolf uh, any access to this zone. Uh, we see Sidis being taken down there by Savior. Uh, this archive tower is just going to melt uh, to this blue army barrage of units and we see some uh, some destructive prophecies going down there uh, by the red team but that is just not enough they should indeed uh, focus down this archive but they take the healing generator out savior has to focus down this archive just to go a little bit more faster and there there it goes the archive is just going to be taken down there's not much that the red team can do and this is going to be the end for uh, free agents number two they are eliminated from the tournament while we were capes irl is going to advance 